what we have right here I'm pointing to with my finger that's a berry that's a pokeweed p-o-k-e poke weed berry and the juice of the pokeweed berry used to be used for ink it's red ink basically and these are poisonous this is poisonous so it's hard to tell here from this one uh, but the leaves are poisonous although there's a way of cooking them and the stalk the purple stalk there is poisonous but I do eat the berries and I do not eat many of the berries uh, four or five or ten a day at most and they have a lot of juice in them and a lot of seeds in the small berries when they taste somewhat like a cranberry and do not try to eat these I don't really get sick to my stomach so nothing bothers me and I eat uh, a few of these most days toward the end of the year when they are available now let's look at other parts of the garden here there's a nice red tomato I will get later on make some bacon and tomato sandwiches from that The tomato plant. The tomato plant, I just had the one tomato plant and I've had probably 40 or 50 tomatoes this year from it. There are a couple other tomatoes still green that will be ready in a week or so. We just need some sunshine. There's the watermelon that uh, we call Tommy. Back away from a little bit. And I probably would go ahead and cut that today. Something uh, appears to be trying to eat through from the outside. Not sure what that is. And uh, I'll get a video of myself cutting that. The other watermelon I will let continue to grow. This is a box that's supporting it so it won't fall over and break the vine. But uh, you can probably see the watermelon in there growing and I think that might uh, be ready in a few weeks you won't be able to see the watermelon itself until I pick it up but I will chop it with my trusty little knife down here at the end and pull it off and see what happens. There is the watermelon. Uh, it looks healthy enough. And we will see if it is uh, edible in a little bit. Watermelon here. Let me get the tomato. We have uh, a little tomato and a big watermelon. 